Hey guys, I'm Toby and today I want to show you the new Chemnitz Area EMS Ambulances. I want to use this opportunity to try a new style of videos, which basically includes me talking and providing all the information verbally. I will highlight some of the new features and changes in this video. The Chemnitz Area Emergency Medical Service recently placed 35 new ambulances in the service. All the vehicles are built by Fortech based on Mercedes printed chassis. This is the first time they have ordered 4-way drive box ambulances. One advantage is that the boxes offer more space inside. Staff already mentioned that they never want to switch back to smaller vehicles. The second advantage is that the boxes can be remount and used a second time on a new chassis, which will save them money. All the ambulances are identical. The staff will even find the same equipment in the same cabinets on all the units. Only one ambulance is a little bit different, since it's specialized for bariatric patients. Another change is that they don't have to store large equipment in the inner working area anymore. Things like the stair chair and backboard are now stored in extra compartments, which can be reached from the outside. Some of the compartments can also be reached from the inside. Storing that equipment in extra compartments massively reduced the noise coming from it, as it was shaking and rattling while driving. They also don't need to open the large side door of the box anymore when they want to grab their EMS bag. Now I want to move to the exterior. Something which I noticed right away is the redesigned graphics package. The stripes are now red, which I personally prefer a lot over the orange stripes on the previous units. The logo of the service provider is now beneath the stripe on the front doors, so that it can be easily removed in case the provider changes. I personally also like the new Chemnitz Erzgebirge EMS logo on the side, which, by the way, is reflective. Last but not least are chevrons in the rear, which are also new for them. Chemnitz new ambulances also have an air suspension. The rear can be lowered by pressing a button, which makes entering much easier and safer. Let's take a look at the lights and sirens. Moving to the vehicle's front, they have mounted four VLAN Iron V grill lights. Chemnitz is a crowded city with a population of approximately 250,000. Trams, buses, trucks and other large vehicles often make it hard for drivers to recognize responding ambulances since they suddenly appear right in front of them. That has already starts near the central EMS station, where they sometimes need to cross up to 8 lanes. The Iron Week grill lights have a 180 degree visibility and they usually are the first lights drivers would see in critical situations. Other than that, I have also experienced that they are even a little bit brighter than the actual light bulb of the vehicle. That is especially noticeable when the ambulance is still 300 meters or 1000 feet behind or in front of you. Moving up, we can see the typical Fartec light bar, which consists of integrated lights. They also added four small pairs of LEDs, facing the front and the sides, which is a minor improvement at least. In the rear, we have the typical rear lights facing 45 degrees sidewards. Another minor improvement are the additional two blue lights and another two amber seen lights in the rear. The new ambulances come with regular electronic two-tone sirens. Two-tone sirens unfortunately are the only legal sirens in Germany as of August 2018. They told me that they often have problems with people not hearing them or not moving out of the way at intersections. Hence, they are especially glad about the extra two-tone air horns or Martin horns, which are also installed on the new vehicles. At last, I want to point out a minor standard change to previous Fartec ambulances. Fartec redesigned the windows of the box, which gives them an interesting look. In Fu, the actual windows you can look through did not become larger. You can find a link to the full close-up video and other videos I've used in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next one, take care.